I'm gonna just like, like seriously, like Helltaker was just like so good. <laughs> like I want to get that up on YouTube really fast. Just because I feel like, I feel like this is a game that like a lot of people haven't played or seen, so. go and we're going to publish and we're going to do that really quick sorry about that guys i just feel like this is like one of those games where it's like i want to get this video up like asap There we go. Anyways, so, but yeah, I can see them expanding on it like more. Like it's it's a really good idea, and I mean it's just a simple push block puzzle, but like it's a good example of how like you can add like a lot of flavor to something and it will make it like palatable. Cause like me push block puzzles, yeah, like not usually my thing, but like um like it was good, like. Like, like I said, the right kind of carrot on the end of the string, if that makes sense. Almost done here. Okay, um, I think we're pretty much good at this point. So we're gonna remove that, minimize that, and why did it go like that? There. All right. So, anyways, welcome to Code Channel. I'm Code. We're gonna be playing Chasm, uh, like the polar opposite of Helltaker. So we're gonna pick up where we left off, which was the keep. Uh, we found the arena, but we died, so... Hmm. Want ice cream? I also want ice cream. Damn it. Alright, pick up where we left off. Um... Oh, I did do a little post-stream cleanup. No, nothing much. I opened a couple chests and I found like one maybe spot I could explore if I come to a dead end. So we're gonna go down here and go to the keep. Actually, reminds me I should probably. It's been a hot minute. so good like I can't get over it. I'm still I'm still like uh, I'm just I'm just in love with it 
I want to go. I want to. I want to. <laughs> I want to go back. I want there to be more. <laughs> Damn, where'd my... I made a cut for this. There it is. Alright. Done. Perfect. Export that to YouTube. Okay, now I don't have to worry about that. I'm like, I need to get this up fast. Game, game need, people need to know about it. People need to know about Helltaker. Hey, Raph, what are you up to? How's things going? All right. Okay, that was that was an adventure. God damn. I'm not even like, I'm not even kidding. Like, watching you, I guess. Oh, okay, cool. Fair enough. That gets us something to do. What's shaken? Just finished playing Helltaker. Um, that game's amazing. Honestly, probably um, one of my games of the year. Like, no question. It's incredibly good. Oh yeah, we died last time we went up this way, so. What'd you find, White? that, get a steak, and then here is high time recipe. So I'm actually going to go back down here and go straight across, and I'm going to explore to like the right side of the keep, because I kind of know what's on the left. Even though I did die, like I kind of know where it goes at this point. Oh shit, right, I forgot those fireballs, like auto, ow, auto face really fast. So... Apparently someone in the journey said so found uh found made an importer for VR face rigs. For what? For Oh, to face rig? Oh, hello. That could be a thing. Sorry. I'm just I know if I'm gonna go exploring, I don't need to be losing like like one one fifth of my health. So there's at least two doors on this side, so there's probably a lot of ground to explore over this way. That's interesting. There we go. But, anyways, yeah. deserve that one. At least I'm taking like slightly less damage. Oh, gross. Who put fucking like pools of tar in this castle? Gosh. It's 
Somebody might like jump down from a high place and not see the tar. Rude. Hmm. That's an interesting way to stagger that. Okay. But gosh dang, Helltaker. I miss my demon harem family. Nope. Okay, at least it got hit. Okay, that kind of worked. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Ow. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna die here. Yep. <laughs> this is gonna be it. There. Good. Those spiders, I swear, are the hardest thing in this goddamn castle. Here's how, how the model would work in base rig. I might have to consider looking into this right after the stream. Whoa. No thank you. Don't want none of that. Okay, we got a closed gate here. So we'll just climb up here, I guess. And, oh. Uh oh, it's a puzzle. I don't know why I keep trying different things. I'm not going to guess it. There's like a lot of combinations in this situation. I kind of like how the chimes work though. Okay, so we're going to have to keep our eyes open for some kind of answer to this puzzle. I just wanted, like, is it so much to ask for just, like, a fucking demon harem and crepes? Like, that's just a good time for all. Okay, if we go down here, if we go over this way, we can get some health back. Ugh. Might be a little bit journey. Uh, it's gonna be touch and go. Cause I know it can stay up. Ow. Okay, let's let's step back for a hot second. What do we get? We can eat. Nothing I really want it. Uh, I'll eat that. I'll eat this. <laughs> I'll eat this feather. This one does. At least probably be enough to get me to the save point. And then from there we can see about like making some progress. Okay, I opened that already. Hmm. I have to check that out. It's a funny thing because like so like face rigs like pretty dang good at what it does, but I find it's like features really like poorly like laid out and organized. I actually think the Wakaru is organized better, but it's just like Wakaru isn't finished and it's a long ways off of being finished, so and I could definitely use some like ooh, battle axe. Oh, that's actually a pretty big step up. Nice big overhead swing. Oh. 
figured I figured there'd be something more over here, honestly. <laughs> Who builds a keep like this? Jeez. Well, at least we saved. We got a battle axe, so I mean I can't complain too much. No code. Always bitching about the time she got a battle axe for free. Just wouldn't shut up about it. Oh god, I thought that would be it. Oh my gosh, this thing has a lot more health than I thought it did. Oh gosh. I keep thinking they're gonna just like forward, but they they're directional and they auto face like when they're shot, so. Oh. There. Hmm. Might as well hit the save point again. So what's everybody up to tonight? What's what's new? What's happening? It's Saturday night. Like hook me up. All right, we're gonna go through here. What? No. Ooh, ah, I don't have Castlevania jumps. What was I thinking? Good swings, me. Good swings. Ugh. I keep thinking this thing's gonna have a lot less health than it does. I'm like, this giant mean-ass knight can't possibly have that much health. Mm. It's an instance where the sword is better, I think. Because a sword you can like swing multiple times and like you get your damage in like two hits on this thing. Whoa. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. Fight you. There. So yeah, that's what we're doing anyways. Oh, what was up here? Apparently there's a chest up here. Oop. now. Yeah. Chest where you need to be really fast. And I'm not very fast. Okay, well, we might as well go down this way, I guess. Mm -hmm. Could get that chest. And I guess we'll go to the arena. We could probably do the first fight of the arena, but I don't think we want to do anything other than that. I think the second fight's maybe a little bit too high level for us. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Wow, I jumped way too early for that. I thought there was going to be less tar, I guess. Like, how much tire does this, like, skull statue thing need to spit, really? I felt like that was enough. Oh god. No. Ow. Good. Takes out the spiders in two hits, which is kinda nice.
Picks those guys up pretty quick too. This one's a bit less. I guess it's a small area jump, so that makes sense. Inventory. I guess I can eat some pie. I might go with the uh, hunting sword, because even though it's weaker, it's not that much weaker, and it also um, has the trait of putting things into your bestiary in one, one kill. So, basically the arena, there's like a preliminary match, and then there's like, I guess there's three preliminary match. Oh shit, I didn't have to eat that pie, there's heals. Okay, big slam, big jump. Oh shit, wasn't big, wasn't big enough jump. Done. Yeah, see like you can hit this thing twice, and like it can't. Easy. I've never even seen the imps attack before, so that's an easy one. This is definitely the hard one. They don't like the archer skeleton doesn't look like. Oh my gosh. Um. Has some knives. There we go. Easy. Gladiator helmet. Oh, this stuff is shiny. A bit of attack power, but everything else goes down. That's not so fun. So, you do have some skills with fighter, but uh, do you have the endurance that's needed to be a champion? You have two more preliminary matches before you can take on the grand champion. So, we're not going to do the other two because. I don't know. I'm just standing here taking the hits. What if I just block it with my face, I say. Good job. Just backstep into it. Gosh, this is why I definitely didn't want to do two fights, because like clearly shouldn't. Okay, so. We did get an item here yesterday, uh, the Black Feather, which I think is going to be used for opening up the next path. Oh, hello. Dark Armor. It's worse than what I got. Awesome. Not really. I like those souls. I like the fight for the skeletons. Like, in general, I think like there's a lot of like really clever stuff that they do with uh, the enemies in this game. Ooh, second battle axe. I could have a battle axe for each hand. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're gonna head back probably to the surface, I guess. Eh, I don't. I don't really need to head to the surface. I just need to save. So. I'm gonna go to the mines to save. And. Hmm. I guess it's Friday night. Or Saturday night. Um. Not here. We're going to the catacombs. And we're gonna go up to. The top right. All right. Let's get these 
messages anyways. I don't know where all these messages are. So we're going to use the feather here. There we go, perfect. Opens the door. We got the lantern so we can see in the dark, so that's perfect. Oh, Jesus. Couldn't see that, even if I could have said... Yeah, they don't actually do that much damage, fortunately. Whoa! We did some kind of weird skip. I'm about it. I don't like, like that thing. It's no good. What's that? What are these? Oh, some weird flying worm thing that... Flying fungus. Okay. Oh, jeez, okay, this, so this section of the catacombs is really dark. Oh, God. Cool. Pizza. Aw, oh, damn. Oh, Jesus. Zombie hand. You watch out for that. Damn, Ghoulhead Pizza. They're now my best friend. <laughs> I was like, oh god, I don't like this monster. And now I'm like, it's my favorite, it's my bestest friend. Okay, some MP. Really gonna take us somewhere. There we go. Eh. Kind of gives me Metroid vibes more than Castlevania. Yeah, I could kind of see that. Like Castlevania generally is like a little looser with stuff. It's these hands. Mind your own business. Nah. I'm like desperately like, like trying not to get hit by another hand. A lot. Very good. Oh, hello. Whoa, jeez, okay. Phantom? Okay. I think if the RPG elements were stronger in this game, I would kind of be like, oh, no, it's definitely more on the Castlevania side. But honestly, the RPG elements are not, not like the most important thing going on here. Oh, dang. Projectiles like really aim at you in this. It's really hard to dodge them. I wonder if there's like. Hmm. Oh. Oh. No pizza. Huh. working our way through this. Whoa. Just gotta remember trying to get the kill with the with the sword. Hello, what are you? Parachute, press and hold back dash while falling to glide. To glide? Oh wow. Okay. I was not expecting that. They hindered us with that breath of the wild. Oh jeez. Okay, mummy. Okay, there's another door up here apparently. Oh, we want to glide probably to get to it. Oh, that's super cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, new area. Or no, different area in the keep. Okay. Okay. 
I mean, that's a thing. Oh, we do have the ability to glide now, so I mean, that m might be useful in the keep. I feel like I know where, where to use this. Like, I feel like we're starting to hit the point now where we have enough, like, abilities and stuff that, like, it's kind of, uh, we're gaining a little bit more, we're gaining quicker track, like, more traction for solving puzzles and stuff. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. There we go. Easy. And look at that. More, more castle to search through. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, silver. Give me something better. Give me something better in this room. Oh, perfect. 100% better. It's a save room. Those are really good. Let me just check my phone here because it's been kind of going off constantly. I think I'm getting... Turn off my alerts because I think I'm in a conversation that people are like... There. So I just want to quickly check and make sure that I'm not like... The person that's like being needed. Oh. I'm following this. Hmm. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. I was super needed for. All right. Hmm. Looks like we have a pretty chill stream now that we're done having a demon harem. Apparently. <laughs> Go figure. People just sticking around for the demon harem. Hmm. Yeah, come on, y'all. I made the I made the silly mistake of uh, uh, slicing out the stream, doing it live. So that was not a good idea. All right, whatever. So let's go forward. Hit the save point, and we can make some progress. Oh wow, I'm actually surprised it worked out. Oh, hello you. Got him. Executioner. Ow. God, help me was so good. Gosh, I know I keep just saying it, but like... That's... Uh, that's one of those games that's like it just hit hit the spot perfectly. Ugh, I gotta stop trying to do that. It feels like so I'm answering that like thing with like such a Castlevania answer, which is like a slide under under it when it shoots its projectile, but not gonna cut it in this game. Nah. What do you got over on this side for me? Not 
nothing. Stick my toes in the tar, just you know, feel the warmth of it. I'm being really sloppy right now. That's not good. You can't be really, you can't be sloppy in this game because it like things hurt and there's not enough health options. So it's like you gotta, you gotta really like pay attention to what you're doing. Yeah, no, the backgrounds are insane. Like, the backgrounds are so nice. And, like, I have to admit, like, uh, like, like I said before, like, the way this game is, like, scaled feels really good. Ooh, combat belt. And it's gold. What does that mean? Whoa, it's good. That's what it means. Uh, slightly lower intelligence, but I get a lot of good out of it. So I guess I'll take it. I can take the silver chain, because it just all I lose is like a tiny bit of luck for a bunch of stats, so we'll take it. Very good. Whoa, what is this? It's a plant room full of plants. Well, I'm gonna just equip the shovel and see what's down here. Hey, it's another villager. It's Rupert! Oh wow, are you a real knight with a sword and everything? When the monsters came into town, I hid inside the tavern with my dog, Princess. Oh, the, the dog... I was wondering, I was like, who has the name Princess? Oh, she tried to fight those mean monsters off, but they captured us anyways. Hey, Panda! Ah, oh, things are going good. Uh, I miss her so much, she's the bravest dog I know. I hope you can rescue her just like you rescued me. Well, I'll head home and let everybody know I'm okay. Okay, we saved a child. And we also have to find a dog. So. What's this going, Panda? What's new? What's happening? combat belt. This one's blue though. Let's see what the difference is. Okay, so blue blue is worse than gold, which I guess makes sense. You never know though. There's there's been the occasional game where I play where like the rarity colors don't make a lot of sense to me. So uh, I don't think I want to touch those. What you got? Soldier's armlet. Accessory? Is. And it's bad. Acceptable. Just finished uh, Disco Elysium. How's Chasm going? Uh, Chasm's going a-okay. It's pretty good. Um, how's Disco Elysium? Eli Elysium. There, kind of. How's that been? I've, I've heard good things about it. I know she's been like playing it, so I've been meaning to ask sometime. But no, Chasm's going good. It it feels solid. Oh gosh. Oh damn! I just kind of stepped out of the room. There, good. Hey, Bidor. Super interested in Disco Yeah. 
Let's see. I mean, I've heard, like, really good things about it, so... I also played Helltaker, which was goddamn amazing. Oh god, I'll just take the chop. Oh my god, what a perfect level up. What is this? It's a portrait of something. Really good detective RPG. Whoa, jeez. Ow. Ooh, gold bar. Really good detective RPG. I usually get bored of games like that, but it's really engaging. Okay, cool. Interesting. Oh, it's in a cage. I don't know what. Oh. Something gonna be placed here. Hmm, okay. Why they get it now uh, on my Mac or wait for console port? Or if I ever fix my PC? Oh, gotcha. Wait. No! I refuse to die the Zimp. There, good. Okay, back to the bottom. It's kind of waiting on a console port too, but they don't even have a date yet. Oh gosh, might be a while. Oh, ow. More and more, like lately, I've noticed that there's like. Uh, PC gets games a lot ahead of console, and it's just like, I'm done waiting. I'll get it on PC if I can run it. It's a showman! It's a ghostly showman! Uh, so we meet again, young adventurer. Will you spin the wheel of fate? Yeah! Good luck. There's no power. No power to it. This wheel doesn't look good. Yeah! Plus two max HP. The, who fucking cares? I heard it was 2021. 20, gotcha. I'm just. Oh, whoa. Okay, you you big guy. You, you business, I see. Actually, that might be good if he's gonna summon weird ghosts at me. Okay. I'm gonna. Whoa, okay. Oh gosh, it goes back and forth. This is like a mid boss. Oh. You're worth spending all my MP on. Fate is turning. Rubble 1, action, plus 2 HP. <laughs> oh, in a big library. We found a single useful page. According to the ancient Tome of Light, a battle between light and darkness is inevitable. It was written that the great darkness would threaten to consume the light, and when the day comes, one will rise to confront it. The light bringer will be someone who is pure of heart and immune to the lore of darkness. Could this be why the Watchers have placed uh, this in my path? Could I be one of the prophecies, one the prophecy speaks of? Here, if I am not uh, the one to stop it, I cannot stand aside and let the darkness prevail. Okay. I'd say they failed. Oh, warp. We should definitely use this, because we're a little bit low, but yeah. Really interesting skill system in Disco Elysium. Interesting. I know it's probably not my type of game, per se, but like, 
I've heard so much about it. Like, I just, I hear people talk about it, and it's like, hmm. Also, the name doesn't hurt, because it really stands out. <laughs> I'm like, Disco Elysium? What the fuck is that? Elysium. Oh. Uh, drink that. Um, I don't think I... I don't think I get... Oh, I do have gems I can upgrade with. I'll keep up... I'll upgrade my knives, just because knives are all-purpose. They're really useful. Don't need any of this stuff. Because I looked at it, and all the stats suck. So she's got nothing useful for us. And for crafting... Uh, it's actually slightly better, but it's like... Why even spend on it at this point? I have... requires five. So, wow, even the silver armor is too bad. I'm actually surprised the way the, like, shops and stuff... Like... The early half of this game feels like they're being so rigid with the scale of equipment, and then suddenly it's just out of the window at a certain point. It's like I, on I got unlocked the shopkeeper, and nothing the shopkeeper has or the blacksmith has is like useful to me. Oh, I should probably give her the tonic recipe. Got the high tonic recipe. These restore even more MP than normal tonic, so I'll add it to the menu right away. What is the cost? Eh, 150. That's too pricey. Probably check on that child to see if they're around. There we go. Uh, I'm so bored. It's too cold to go outside, and there's nothing to do in here. You haven't found any toys, have you? I didn't think so. Well, if you do find anything, maybe you could bring it back to me. Okay, so probably find some kind of toy or something to complete a side quest. We'll talk to the old man. But yeah, things. Are... Uh, you found the little whipper snapper Rupert, did you? Well, good, I'm glad to hear that. Here's something... He's something else, but he keeps me feeling young. Hmm. Okay. I did get that parachute, but I can't think of any places where I need to use that. There might be a spot in the garden somewhere, but... I still like two spots that I could probably check out, but I don't think either of them need the parachute. <laughs> so back to the keep. Hmm. I guess we'll explore this direction a little, a little bit more. See if we can find anything else. Because we can clearly climb these shelves. Whee! Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, so this is for the bells, I think. It's some kind of music music notes question mark. So we hit the fourth bell, the second bell, the fourth bell, fourth bell, second bell, fourth bell. I'm actually oh okay, it's it keeps the note. Okay. Okay. It's not so bad. So if we head our head all the way back back. Yeah, this is like a one-way path, pretty much, so we'll just warp. But, yeah, anyways. That's not where we want to go. I'm gonna take the bottom one. Whatever, it didn't really hurt or anything. Ugh, this hallway. This one kind of sucks. That wasn't so bad. I remember that being like way taller for some reason. <laughs> 
Probably because I fell down it probably twice before I get to the top the first time. That would make sense. Oh yeah, the bell tower, right, right. That's what I was going up here to do, probably. Uh, first we'll check out down here. I do like the mobility in this game though. Like, it, it's interesting. You never feel like you have like a lot of mobility, but like you feel like you have enough to do what's what needs to be done oftentimes. I wonder if this is just like I can't reach it or I have a feeling this would be super tight if that's the case. Yeah. Yeah. Might be something maybe for a double jump. Alright, we'll get back into exploring here. If we warp to the other warp, that'd be a little bit closer. Let's just head on all the way back. I'm actually really pleased though, lately I've been streaming at a pretty good time. This makes like three nights in a row where I've started close to like eight or nine. So, I'm getting a system going again. We're back on the rails. Make our way across and go ring those bells. That is a new plan. <sighs> oh crap. Gosh, I really should go back and play Dark Souls again sometime. I feel like it's been long enough since I played the first Dark Souls. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready for more Dark Souls. Oh, right. Take the top path here. It's one of those things though that like at least lately, like I feel like I've been doing pretty good going back to some of my games and like playing through and uh polishing off some stuff and like I've been going through and picking up new games again pretty regular, so that's nice. Because, like, sometimes I get in this, like, mindset where it's, like, I just want to play, like, I just want to play whatever game I haven't, like, 100% finished yet. Which isn't a good, like, streamer attitude, because, of course, people want to see you play new stuff, right? They don't always want to see you play, like, that one game that you're chewing away at, like, one achievement in. Alright. I mean, sometimes it's interesting, but, you know. I feel like uh, one step from Eden is kind of entering that place. Whoops. One, two, one, two, one, two. Did that do it? What was the music notes? Inventory. Journal. Uh, okay, it's. One, two, one, two. Wait. One, Two, one. What? Wait, 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 wait. Let me look at this again. Okay, it starts with four, and then it goes to two. Okay, so four, two, four, four, two, four. There. Okay. Puzzle solved. We did it. We rang that bell.
Why even have four bells, though? It's just a waste of bells. Just a waste of bells at that point. Excessive bells. It's a puzzle. No! Excessive bells, White! Think of the think of the money that was spent on those extra bells. Completely unnecessary. Oh gosh. Okay, I guess I'm going back. It's a hard jump, actually. Just to say, it's gonna fall just as I make the jump. Feel it. That's such a small platform. There, good. I was hoping that too early. Oh god. suspicious. Hmm. I'm amazed I played through of all of Helltaker. It's a game that had puzzles in it. Like, I played through it unlike, unlike, uh, Baba's You, where I'm like, oh god, it's hopeless. Uh, spare no expenses on those bells. Same guy who designed the Wrecking <laughs> Police Safe Police Station. Yeah, I know, right? That checks out. We need four of these, and we need some statues that you can put some gemstones into to open the door. It's important. You're well armored. Dead Lancer. And a painting! Yes. guy, huh? This is like, okay, so here's, here's one very, very small thing, which I feel really petty saying, <laughs> because it's a really petty complaint, but I hate the fact that the knife and the axe aren't next to each other on the subweapon selection. <laughs> Like, it kills me a little inside, because, like, I just need- Those are, like, the two main ones I want. And the fact that, like... The fact that, like, that they're, they're, I, I keep selecting that shuriken, and it's like, uh, no, I don't want you. What? I, I was about to say, we can call. Let's call oh. oh, bag of flour and some gold. We need that for a sub side quest. And also gold, because gold. Ow! It's a low shot. Ow. Ow. Okay, that was an interesting plan that did not work out. Get back here, you. This is being a coward. Stop being a cow. Oh, Traveler's Cave. Wonder what that does. Oh, lots of luck. Mm, drops my defense and intelligence a fair amount, though. Mm. 
I don't really want to drop those things. Wait. Oh god. Oh jeez, I need to heal. Pizza, time for pizza. That was the last save point. Oh god, it was a little piece back. This feels like a Castlevania pre-boss room. Oh. Tokens, money. I feel fortunate, which I guess is a good thing. Oh jeez. Wow, we need a piece out of here. Nope. Wow, that is really tight. Oh. Ah, jeez. Ah. Hey, gold bar. And we got an iron helmet. Very good. Um. Mm. Well, okay, I guess it just sucks. Never mind. Garbage. Just put it back in the trash. I should probably eat. Eat a little bit more. Uh, I'll eat that. Wow, that did not recover a lot. Um, oh gosh. I don't want to really be in this room. This room seems like a bad time. I guess we'll just go up this way, maybe. Nope. I guess we won't. Do I take? Do I risk everything with that room with the wizard? I don't know. It's a very video game question. Uh, ah, jeez. Ah. Okay, time to peace out. I pressed my luck and I've realized that and it's time to... Just... Ooh. Ooh, coffee. Pretty sure that would kill me in one hit. Oh jeez! Oh god! More wizards! Run! 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 <laughs> oh hey! It's Grant. Thank you for your assistance. I'm Grant JQ's grandson, as well as town resident engineer. My main job is helping to make uh, the mines safer and more efficient. It feels like you should probably be able to attack slightly faster than what you do. It, it kind of does. It, um... It does. That's kind of true. It definitely, like I've said before, it feels more rigid than, like, Castlevania typically does. So... But it doesn't feel, like, bad. It just feels like you have to be very particular. But I have to admit, it does every so often cause me to overinvest because I expect to be able to, like, swing a few more trips. Uh, my main job is to help make mine safer and more efficient. I also, I also like to come up with new and exciting inventions in my spare time. That sounds awesome. Speaking of which, I should get back to town and resume my work. Okay, well, we don't have a lot of health. Oh, I could warp scroll out of here. You know what? I'm going to play it safe and do that. Because honestly, I'm just going to walk into that next room and get killed by that wizard. And I... I, I strive for higher aspirations <laughs> in my life. <gasps> okay, fine. I don't need some gems to get some experience in my weapons. It's cool. Doesn't matter. I have money. I can gamble. I have tokens. Nope. Nope. Okay, well, that's a good time. Hmm. What now? Oh, engineer? Engineer guy? Where is he? Probably. Oh, there he is. Whoa! He's got a hot air balloon. Greetings and salutations. Please allow me to introduce my most recent invention. It's a gas balloon that will allow me to fly high above the clouds. But as you can see, I haven't quite got it off the ground yet. 
In order to fill the balloon, I designed this rudimentary electrolysis device. It runs an electric current. Oh god, I'm going to sleep. A uh, current through water and separates of the hydrogen gas. Unfortunately, its electrodes are. Oh my god, why am I in science class? Electrodes are made of impure metals that rust out before I could get the balloon filled. If you could bring back three ingots of platinum, I could create a new electrolysis that won't rust. Okay, I guess I'll give him the rarest fucking mineral. I appreciate you finding my grandson Grant for me. He's a smart young fellow, but he needs to keep his head out of the clouds from time to time. Well, we're making him a hot air balloon, so buckle up, Grandpa. We're sending we're sending Grant to the sun. Actually, I just remember I have a bag of flour. I should give uh, Ethel. Oh, how wonderful! You found the flour. I will finally be able to restock the bakery. As a special thanks, please take one of my famous scones. Scone? I don't know what a scone actually is. Uh, they talk about them all the way to Langer... Langerlay? I don't like, matter if I knew what that was. Uh, I hope you're eating well. And venture like you need to keep up the strength. Scone is like a donut? Are you kidding? That sounds amazing then. <gasps> a donut! ring of fried dough. Well, when you put it like that, it's like, oh, wow, there's some interesting stuff here. Snacks. Well, I need a donut, just because. Thank you. Now I have an emergency donut. When I'm about to get, like, killed by a wizard, I can be like, at least I get to enjoy this sweet donut. Then I get my, like, flesh blasted off or whatever. Um, I don't think there's anything on this floor I need to look for. I wonder if I'd recognize it if I see it. Let me see this picture of a scone. I need to see what this is about. Oh yeah, they're like trying triangles and yeah. I, to me, they're like the in between of like a cookie and a biscuit. If that makes sense. I mean, I've never eaten one, but like that's what it looks like to me. Like I guess that's a thing. I guess that's fair. <sighs> mm. Okay. No, we'll get away, Wakaru. All right, let me see here. Um, there is something in the gardens I wouldn't mind checking out, which is I have two paths I haven't cleared on one at one side. I feel like there might be something something good over there, so I'm gonna just quickly take a look. Whoa, jeez. Oh, this is gonna work. Perfect. Look at us. Look at us. Oh, chest. We got a sword hat! Oh my god. Finally, my head can also help with the attacking. A stylish hat featuring a medallion of a sword. Oh my god. Oh my god, we get a giant floating sword. Very Castlevania. Sword hat time. Let's go. I don't know. I, I like my hat that summoned a bird, though. That's a thing. Like, bird hat was, like, top shelf. Like, and we have this bird, and it's it attacks every once in a while. I named it Carrot, because it looks like a carrot. Um, but we'll go with sword hat, see how this goes. Okay, well that was probably worth the trip. And we have one more area up above. The part on the right side I can't do because it's... Apparently I, apparently I need to learn how to swim, so... Nice try, sword. You'll get it next time. <laughs> I 
That's one way to do it, right? Get creative. Oh, this probably involves swimming. That makes sense. Okay, well, at least we got a, we got a cool sword. Hmm. That sword is ominous. Yeah, it's probably cursed. Just slowly floating at me. Yeah. Definitely, probably cursed. Hmm. Probably was just short of getting to a warp point. That's okay. Hmm. Just like looking through here, seeing what I can potentially reach. Okay, just go straight through. Oh, nice, another gold bar. How many do we have so far? Inventory. Gold, four. That's pretty good. We should be able to make that hammer soon. Things have been going pretty well lately. Like, my streaming schedule seems like it's straightening out a little bit. Uh, I've been flying through games lately, so that's awesome. And, uh, yeah. And, of course, of course, we have the, uh, like, Vroid model now, so that's. I. God, I'm, I'm in love with it so much, honestly. <laughs> oh, God. Eh. <laughs> Let me be free, Spider. Um, so I hit the save point here. Because, like, I'm trying to think, how many games did I finish this week? Probably three. Three or four. Because we finished Minoria. We finished... Um, let me take a look. I'm just curious. I uh, finished. Hmm. Minoria. I guess I technically kind of went back through and finished Bloodstained. Uh, even though it was like 100% done, it was just I wanted to do a. Uh, um, a randomizer run, which didn't end up shaking out, but whatever. Um, and then, of course, we finished uh, Helltaker, so it's only like three games, but whatever. I mean, Helltaker was super short, too. Oh, of course. Yes, save me, sword. Don't let this imp pick on me. Oh. Wow, I'm actually just about to go back to the platform. I do need to get back into um, Orange Blood, though. Admittedly, like the fact that it doesn't run at like a higher resolution does kind of zap me a little bit, because like it's really hard to play it when when it's so s such a small window. Been meaning to look into a uh, window magnifier for it. Right, this room. Oh, 
I choose. There, okay, good. Oh shit, I didn't have to come up here. That's dumb. Oh shit, you only pull the parachute once. <laughs> well, we're learning stuff. You know what this game kind of makes me think of? It kind of feels um, like it has the same starchiness to the way it plays that, like, Zelda does. Like, this game feels like it wants to be the Zelda of Castlevania games, kind of. Like, just to a certain degree. Like, the combat, the con like, everything's there. Like, it's still, like, a good game. It still feels good. It's just, like, everything feels like it's kind of uh, paced at a very specific like, everything feels very, like, um, deliberate in the way it's, like, handled. Once again, though, not a bad thing, just, like, if you're used to, like, the lo looseness and loopiness of, like, Castlevania, it does feel strict, stricter than that, but not, like, by a lot. Like I said, like the movement and stuff like has opened up a lot in this game. Wow, 200 HP, holy shit. Let's eat her, drink her coffee and eat her donut, as one does. Ow. Don't warp into me. That's not even magic if you do that. Oh, it's a witch. Okay. Hmm. Oh, save point. Just in the nick of time before I eat that donut. Um, oh, boss time. Boss time. It's the boss of the keep. We made it. What we got? Oh. Are you King Trell? You look, your sword looks a lot like mine. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Th just throwing, the, throwing those blades. Great. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gosh. Wow. Okay, quite the projectile. Oh. This will do some damage while I can. Oh, okay. Don't want none of that. Oh god, the tracking. Whoa. <laughs> well, that's one way to go. Sword, save me, bring me back. Damn, donuts recover a hundred health. And they're and they only cost a hundred gold? Is it a hundred health or two hundred? What happened to my donut? All I have is the scone. Did I eat the donut instead? Oh, the scone recovers 200. Okay. As we'll say, 100, 100 gold for 200 health is a really good deal. You should stock up on donuts. But I guess that's not the case. Alright. Fight me. I imagine this is probably King Trell. That makes sense. Fight me for reals. Whoa. Ah, well, ain't you 
shit. Whoa. Okay, that goes pretty high. Oh, he has a hard time getting his sword out of the ground. That's actually kind of cute. Jeez, okay. Active. scary. Shit. <laughs> Ow. Shit. Active frames. Oh. Eat that scone. Scone time. Ow. Oh, he's done. Jeez, I barely needed to eat that scone. Max HP. Woo! Okay, cool. He was important to the plot or something. You think the Skeleton King would be sitting on something more valuable? Maybe. Ooh. Luck pendant. That seems like something that's cursed enough for me to equip. Ooh, it's very bad. Now we know. Normandy was such a shitty king. All he has is crappy pendants. Jewel ring. Jewel ring. Okay, well... Not gonna lie, I expected something a little bit more from that, but here we go. Um, I have a feeling I probably know what I can do with the pen. <laughs> I feel like I know what I can do with that hard cut of me just throwing it directly into the ocean. Just hucking it. It's like five pendant. Okay. I guess I probably could have just did the save point like near the surface or something instead of going back here. surface for a hot second. How much gold do we have? Uh, not enough to make the hammer. Not enough money to do anything there either. We don't have any new gems, so nothing we can level up with. None of them interest me. Oh, you can actually buy jewels here. I didn't know that. Oh god, you can actually buy platinum here. Hmm. Interesting. I guess I could like spend the money to buy the jewels to give me experience for my sub weapons, but that seems kind of elongated. Like, what do I do with this pendant? Wake up. Eh, he doesn't care about anything but the but uh townsfolk. Okay, I think I know what I need to do with it anyways. Um there's like an altar, I think, in the jungle that like you can put stuff in. Wait, I missed a spot way over there. Let me check that out. 
Oh gosh, there is a thing that I missed up here. There's actually two things that are still in. Maybe... It's the next thing up. Not that one. Because I can glide now, so it's going to make a difference. I don't think this is it, but... Oh yeah, that's not going to cut it. <laughs> We ain't, we ain't getting over there without, like, air dashing. Okay, but... There is a platform over here I could go to. Nah, whatever. It's just a chest, though. So it's not a big deal. I mean, there might be something good in it, but... Probably not. Nah, I'll go get it anyways. But, yeah. Pretty quiet night tonight. I'm actually kind of surprised. Last couple nights were pretty pretty eventful, so eh, it happens. And it's Saturday, so you know people have plans for their Saturdays. I'll take it. Cautiously axing the bats that are not going to do any damage to me. Hey, we got some iron. over here because I imagine we can probably grab it. Yes, we can definitely grab it. Oh, we got a bag and some gems. Okay, that probably wasn't worth running all the way back here for, but whatever. You know, speaking of metroidvanias and kind of uh, non-metroidvanias, I guess, um, a game I actually should play on stream again sometime is Fez. It's a game I should probably come back to. It's a game I actually played originally right before I started streaming, so never played it on stream. It's not like a super long game or anything, it's not super complex, but it's like pretty good. There's a lot of things I like in it, because like it, it is clever in a lot of ways, but yeah. I don't I don't think it'll ever have the same impact as it does like the first playthrough. The first playthrough in Fez is definitely like really uh really something else. But I am kinda curious how another like a second playthrough would go in it, because like it would be so dramatically different than the first playthrough. Nice, my sword leveled up. Um, okay, so the question is, is where do we put the thing? I don't remember. I don't remember where that room is. Oh, oh, bees. Nice, good job, sword. You doing it? Ugh. This is neat, but I kind of don't like the meta aspect of it. I, f yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Um, I enjoyed the fact that like the way that game unfolds is through like knowledge which I think is really clever. Like, I think that like the main switching mechanic takes a backseat, yes. Yeah, it does. It really does, because uh, crowdsourcing to solve. I mean, 
I remember literally like getting out a notebook and figuring it all out. The OST, yeah, the OST is super good. I remember getting out the notebook and figuring out the alphabet and everything, and that was like really cool. Uh, which was something that I hadn't done in forever until that point. Uh, so like I do have like good memories of that with Fez, but it is something that like playing it again, I just feel like that is gonna be part of it because I'm just gonna know like okay, I need to learn the alphabet and do that sort of thing. My only thing is is that like the meta qualities of it doesn't ultimately lead to like a big payoff or anything, but it like there's something about it which I think is kind of interesting. But I do kind of agree the the like uh, world switching mechanic doesn't ultimately like. It really does take a backseat to everything else. You're not wrong. I'm gonna fight Gutsman here. Okay. I might, it might take a little bit of walking around to figure out where I need to go here, but I'm pretty sure I know where it is. So I definitely, I definitely know where you're coming from, the door. But there were some interesting puzzles, and it was definitely like rewarding figuring things out. But it's also like, sort of to what ends, I guess. But I guess like that's the maybe a little bit of the ideas. It's just the joy of like figuring the things out. But I will agree that some of the puzzles in it are so like. Like, oh jeez, they're like so, up, yeah, they're like obtuse. They're so, they're so weird that it's like, damn. Oh jeez. Fortunately, it's not doing any damage to me, so that's nice. Gonna head out. All right, casual Labrador. Thanks for swinging by. Wow, when these enemies only like don't do any contact damage, it makes a big difference. <laughs> okay, we'll just climb back up here. Anything that made me go fast. Maybe, maybe there's something in the description of it. Jump a cake stone carved into a symbol of Yulak. Jewel ring. To the mystery, I guess. Oh, jeez, that was a little close. Oh, jeez, frog. Frog, please. So I'm hanging up with the, hanging up with this model editing stuff. Oh, what's up? Oh, Warhammer. That seems like it might be useful. This is kind of like a previous area at this point, so I don't know how useful it would be. Okay, back into this room. So we're gonna go here, and we're gonna warp to one of the other sides. I feel like it's the bottom corner that maybe has a section that I could potentially use the pendant in. I don't know. 
It's hard to say, because, like, it would be odd for them to, like, make the pen, like, an equipable item. But, I mean, it sucks, so, I mean, like, what else are you gonna do with it, right? Hopefully it opens the door. <laughs> Hopefully it does something useful. Oh, shit. What am I doing? Oh god, it's so nice that those don't kill me now. Hmm. Bigfoot. Almost messed that up. Oh, okay. I guess I can use this actually just to like. Oh shit. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna miss them both. I'm gonna miss them all. Okay, no. I'm good. Just give me like some hang time so I don't have to time it as much. Oh shit! <laughs> he just gets zapped. How would I ever know to go here? <laughs> there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Don't worry. My injuries aren't as bad as they look. Listen closely though. I have something important to tell you. I finished the translations and I've discovered that the temple is indeed no ordinary structure. Well, yeah, it is designed to amplify the power of the Shattered Gem and open the tunnel between worlds. I'm afraid this means Yulak is already here and growing stronger with each passing moment. Its dark power has been flowing into our world for centuries like sand through an hourglass. If there's any hope of stopping Yulak, the connection to its power must be severed. You must find the Shattered Gem and close the gateway. My injuries would only slow you down, so I'm afraid you'll have to go on alone. So please take my translation book, it may be of some use to you. Farewell for now. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, here's the thing. Only those who wear the symbol of the master may enter. Okay, and of course, look at us. Look at us. Not getting stuck. Solving a puzzle. I feel like a genius right now. I'm taking this stupid thing off, it's ugly. Actually... Maybe a second combat belt's better. Hmm... Yeah. Ooh, hello. What are we into now? I see how it is. Cultist. Hmm, so we get into a new section. We'll find a warp room and a really good place to switch over to one step. Should glide it. Level up. Teleports. Never good. Never good. You don't want to see these in a video game. All they do is make things confusing. Okay. Oh no. There's a lot of them. Cool. I'm stuck. You tell birds are terrible when you're trying to build a map in your head. Yeah, they really are. Ow, rude. What's this thing? Oh, it was a box. <laughs> I didn't realize. I'm like, what is it?
Oh, there we go. Warp room. Yeah, warps right to the right to the top of the mine. That's nice. That is great. Exactly what we needed. Pardon me. Like kind of a okay for everything up here. Hmm. Okay, so we saved. I think I like that, like barn owl up there, snowy owl. Okay, we're gonna quit. We're gonna start game. We're at 78.1%. Uh, 78 Six hours in, that's not bad. Um, but I think I'm gonna call it for Chasm for now. Um, and it's gonna crash whenever I shut it down because that's what it does. Um, Two D games give you multiple layers to memorize. Yeah, that's I would agree with that. Like it's hard to me it's hard to memorize like maps stacked on top of one another. Actually, coincidentally speaking of Fez, Fez does have a problem with that kind of navigating that map is actually really hard sometimes. Um, but I think we're gonna call it just because we did we did clear a boss and that's probably a good time to and we found the next area so we'll be all set for tomorrow. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to one step from Eden. I'm going to load it up because we've been making good progress in it. So, and I'd like to try and make a little bit more progress. Particularly, we're moving on to a new type of run in it called a genocide run. So, I want to 